In a recent YouTube video we showed you how you can easily create a pie chart and this is the pie chart that we created. But if you then want to apply colours, let's suppose you want your pie chart to look like this one. A bit garish I know, but nevertheless more colourful than this one. At first glance it's quite tricky because when you click on it to select it, you might notice that everything is selected. So where do you begin to try and apply colours? to the uh, appropriate wedges. Also, how might you change the type? That's trickier than you might imagine. So the way you do it is you make sure that nothing is selected and then you use the group selection tool which is hidden under the direct selection tool. So in an earlier video about three essential skills that beginners need to know to learn Illustrator, you'll know if you've seen that, that the group selection tool enables you to get inside groups and a graph is such a group. So you can click on any of these areas and you'll be able to change the colors. But better still, there's something going on inside a graph. There's things called subgroups, so areas that belong together. So if you click more than once on the same area, so for example, click once on the block next to 2013, click again, then I get both of the sections there that belong together. So I'm going to just apply color to that one, and then click once and then twice on this one, apply color to that, and so on. So this is a thing called subgroups, which uh, goes on behind the scenes sometimes. Useful for you if you're creating your own stuff from scratch, group things together that you might want to be able to select together later using the group selection tool. And finally, the same thing applies to type. If you click once on this bit of type and then wait for a second and then click again, you can select all the type at once. So I'm going to change the font to match this headline at the top, which is using the Bebas font, available to download for free from My Fonts, etc. So you can see that it doesn't take too long to change a fairly ordinary pie chart into something much more like you might want it.